In this video, we have a look at the definition for a Hamiltonian path. But before we do that, let's actually describe what a path is. A path is a sequence of vertices joined by edges where none of the edges or vertices are repeated. We can see in the example here in red that we have a path because we've got three vertices joined together by two edges and none of the vertices or edges have been repeated. The Hamiltonian path is a special case. In a Hamiltonian path, every vertex is visited exactly once. An exception to this is where we start and finish at the same vertex. That's called a closed path. And in this case, because we visit every vertex only once, apart from the start and finishing vertex, we call it a Hamiltonian cycle. The graph shown in this diagram does have a Hamiltonian cycle. Let's have a look to see where that exists by starting at the vertex at the top of the diagram. So we can see here in red that we have a Hamiltonian path because every vertex is visited exactly once. We have visited the start and finish vertex twice, but that's okay because it forms a cycle and we haven't repeated any edges or vertices. So because we have a Hamiltonian cycle, the graph itself is called Hamiltonian. If we have a graph with a Hamiltonian path which does not finish at the same vertex as where it started, we call the graph semi-Hamiltonian. Let's have a look at an example of that and a possible reason how we can identify when a graph is semi-Hamiltonian. So just working through some of the key definitions of a Hamiltonian path, we can see that every vertex in our graph has been visited. There's been no repeat of vertices, no repeat of edges. So it definitely is a Hamiltonian path, but it is an open one because we're not able to finish and start at the same vertex. Now, the indicator that that's going to occur, in other words, not able to finish at the same vertex where we started, is the vertex E is a significant one. You'll notice there that that's a point where the graph in effect is separated into two parts. So if we were to start at either D or F and travel through E, to come back again we'd have to travel through E again. Likewise if we started at A, B or C, we'd have to travel through E again to get back. So vertex E indicates that at best this particular graph is semi-Hamiltonian. Now unlike with the Eulerian trail, we don't have a particular rule looking at the degrees of the vertices to help us establish immediately whether or not the graph is Hamiltonian. We need to do an investigation. So for Hamiltonian, keep in mind that every vertex must be visited exactly once, unless of course it's a Hamiltonian cycle. And it doesn't matter if we don't visit the edges as long as we visit each edge no more than once. It is possible that some edges may be missed out in a Hamiltonian path. 